My name is Matthew Rantanen, and I am hosting the Tribal Wireless Boot Camp in Southern California at Rantanen Town Ranch. The whole point for the Tribal Wireless Boot Camp was to start a process where we get tribes to come together and be able to share experiences uh, with trained professionals. And I think we came out with a now network of people that will rely on each other forever. The way that the Yurok Reservation is organized, it's very large and remote and vast and rural. There's small groupings of populations, but since there's no fiber infrastructure anywhere near the reservation, there's no communications, it's very dangerous. We have to get our internet from an 18 mile over water wireless link. And until yesterday, that to me was just something that, you know, didn't seem so absurd until like, like practically looking at what you have to do to link two pieces of equipment together. And just in a, in a single room, two pieces, you have to get them exactly lined up perfectly. Now, 18 miles is a long way. So, you know, up until recently, the, the standard connection for our customers is a one megabit connection. And the premium, the premium is five megabits. But when you bring fiber, when you bring high-speed internet, that's when development happens and when opportunity happens. And so, you know, making sure that the council and everyone is aware, this is gonna cost money and it's probably not gonna have a huge return on investment directly. But there are a million different indirect benefits of bringing the access. I think it's really important for the tribe to manage our own resources and have that opportunity because no one is going to provide for our community and care as much as we are because we're serving our own family members, we're serving our own tribal businesses, we're helping out the educational systems and the departments and entities that have been lacking in that service. I think it's a really critical time for tribal nations not only getting the 2.5 licenses but having opportunities for funding to build out themselves. I would offer advice like not to be scared to do that. You can achieve that, you know, bring in your own people and your own resources, train from the ground up, utilize uh, networks and connections that you have, and you do have the ability to provide service for your own people. Thank you. Thank you.